everybody, this is Nancy Chen. As the holiday is approaching, I thought it would be it would be fun to explore a little bit about the evolution of holiday ritual. In recent years, many holidays is losing its religious origination and have become more of a cultural holiday. Not only we are looking at the American holiday, I also want to explore a little bit about the holiday of my own culture and how those holidays have evolved. So let's get started. Before we can dive into the topic of holiday ritual, we have to explore a little bit about the definition of ritual. According to Merriam-Webster, there are two definitions of ritual that will best serve today's presentation. The first one states that ritual is the established form for ceremony specifically. The second definition states that, that it is an act of series of acts regularly repeated in a set, precise manner. We can see that the definition of ritual has a religion embedded in it. When we talk about holiday ritual, it is hard to escape to discuss um, its religious uh, origination. So, federal holidays and versus most celebrated holidays. So, federal holidays are the days that have significance for various sectors of American society. These are holidays are typically derived from history, religion, and culture of the United States. Most national holidays are celebrated with pay time off, while there are some cultural holidays that are celebrated across the United States, but not observed by the, by the federal government. These holidays include like holidays like Halloween, Mother's Day, Father's Day, and Easter. Notice that the overlap of some federal holidays is the most celebrated holiday across the United States, like Thanksgiving and Christmas. In the next slide, we're going to explore a little bit more about evolution of holiday celebration. To discuss the evolution of holiday, I want to pick a specific holiday. So, Christmas is probably one of the most celebrated and most important holiday of the year for most American family. Most would believe that the origination of Christmas was to celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ. However, in fact, that early Christians did not celebrate Nativity because many Christians were would argue that Jesus ha has not been born as an actual human, but rather as a divine spirit. It was 350 years later that the Church Father in Rome has added uh, Christmas to the Christian calendar. The church father decided to place a new holiday in December to guarantee that it would be adopted by people um, because the, um, people already celebrate winter solstice around that time on December 23rd. So as the church father has hoped, Christmas became a very important holiday and it was adopted very quickly. Everyone would take time off from the ordinary labor and that was was observed with uh, feasting and drinking. In the 1800, Christmas was transformed into what we are familiar with today with the child-centered rituals and magical figures such as like Santa Claus. Um, in 1823, the publication of Clement Claire Moore's poem, A Visit from St. Nicholas. Then, two decades later, Christmas tree becomes a more common practice for the homes of America. At the same time, Christmas become a, become, become a commercial holiday because the gift gifting and also the, the Christmas tree as a permanent ritual for part of the Christmas holiday. In 1840, Christmas tree vendors started to appear across the streets of America. So, interestingly, that Christmas is celebrated across around the world, and it's actually very widely celebrated in Asia, uh, but it is not seen as a religious holiday. It's widely celebrated in Japan, but oddly that there's actually not too many Christians in Japan. Christmas is known as a time to spread happiness, 
Um, in fact, Christmas has a, a, a romantic connotation attached to it, in which couples will spend time together and exchange presents. It almost resembles resembles Valentine's Day in the United States, even though Valentine's Day is also celebrated in Japan. Contrary to turkey or ham as a main dish to serve at Christmas, fried chicken is all is often eaten on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day. Christmas is the busiest time of the year for KFC in Japan, that people would have to place order ahead of time. A fun fact: In 1974, KFC did an advertising campaign called "Kentucky for Christmas," which was very successful and become a tradition to eat fried chicken for Christmas in Japan. Traditionally, um, in Japan, Christmas food is a Christmas cake. Unlike the fruit cake, like panettone,、um, they serve a sponge cake decorated with strawberry and whipped cream. In Taiwan, where my family came from, Christmas practice is also very similar to Japan.、Uh, a couple will celebrate together as a romantic holiday, or it will be a get together among friends and family. And Christmas is not associated with religion at all.、Uh, in other culture,、uh, Christmas is also celebrated, and there is also other cultural flair related to Christmas. I also want to point out that、um, Mexican people would make tamales around Christmas time, and、uh, one of the reasons is that making tamales is a very labor-intensive、uh, thing. So family and friends would invite over, invite each other over for a day to make tamales. So tamales has become a symbolized of togetherness and hap- uh, happiness with families,、um, which is often associated with Christmas. Which is a very interesting、um, way to celebrate、uh, Christmas, but the ultimate goal is to bring that togetherness with family. So Chinese New Year is probably one of the most comparable holiday to Christmas in the Chinese culture. Chinese New Year is used to pray for success during the coming farming year, but later religious practices such as Buddhism and ancestor worship、um, uh, practices were added to Chinese New Year.、Uh, there are some similarity between Chinese New Years and Christmas. A legend is also associated with the holiday, just like Santa is associated with Christmas. The legend states that a monster will come to eat young children and livestock during New Year, and only red-colored objects and loud noises will banish the monster. While it is a common practice to eat turkey around Christmas, Chinese people will eat dumpling, which was symbolize Chinese people will eat dumpling during Chinese New Year, which symbolizes money and prosperity. In comparison to Christmas practice, we where you get would get family gift. Parents would give their children red envelope which would contain money. And there are many similarity between Christmas and Chinese New Year.、Um, the red envelope would also serve as a protection from the legendary monster, and that would scare the monsters away. Chinese New Year celebration is observed in the U.S.、Um, due to large population of Chinese community in the U.S. It is interesting to see the blend of culture. While American people may not have a full understanding of Chinese culture, but the different people from different culture backgrounds are welcome to celebrate Chinese New Year with us, just like it's a common practice to celebrate Christmas in Asian countries like Japan or Taiwan. So, why we love holidays so much, love holiday rituals and traditions so much? From an anthropological perspective, holiday rituals are often bringing meanings and significance to、uh, comparing to common occasion. There are also benefits to holiday that explain why we have we love holidays so much. So everyday life can be very stressful, and having holidays throughout the year、uh, gives something to people to look forward to throughout the year. Studies have shown that structures and Repetitive action involving holidays serve as a good anxiety buffer. Holiday rituals also involve food, and the preparation of、um, and consumption of food symbolizes the community and bringing family together. Holiday rituals also create environments that can pre- 
promotes the feeling of belongingness. While holidays have lost its original roots, but doesn't mean that the meaning and intentions have this loss. In many ways, holiday is a way to bring festivity and celebration to the occasion. A holiday ritual is a day where people come from different cities and different parts of the country coming together for one day and celebrate. That being said, I want to wish everybody a happy upcoming holidays.